In this tutorial, we will be discussing the Smart Denture Conversions Protocol for converting a removable AVA dent monolithic denture into a fixed complete denture on multi-unit abutments. Step 1. To ensure the successful pickup of the implant components into the denture, pre-coat the titanium bases or tie bases with your preferred pickup material. We recommend Unifast Trad by GC America. Using a coating mandrel on your lab handpiece, you can secure a tie base with a separable fastener and slowly turn the part while you add a thin, uniform layer of Unifast Trad to the tie base. Alternatively, this can be done by turning the mandrel by hand. Step 2. While the surgical flaps are still open, and once the multi-unit abutments are in place, inject bite registration into the intaglio of the Avident denture and cover the bite registration with Blue Bite Blocker, PTFE tape from Dammit.Dental. Step 3. Seat the denture over the multi-unit abutments, guide the patient into occlusion with the mandibular jaw in centric relation and then remove the denture. Step 4. The PTFE tape allows for removal of the denture before the bite registration material sets up, so quickly remove the denture and set it to the side. Step 5. Place the paper-backed DAM template from Dammit.Dental over the multi-unit abutments with the paper against the abutments. Step 6. Press firmly with fingers over the multi-unit abutments until they puncture the paper of the DAM template. Step 7. Align the colored silicone dam from Dammit.Dental with the punctured paper dam template so that the puncture marks are centered on the silicone dam. Use a hole punch, biopsy punch, or leather punch to puncture the dam template and silicone dam simultaneously. Be sure to keep the two from moving, as you work from one hole to the next, to ensure a silicone dam without bunching. Step 8. Once the bite registration has set, remove the PTFE tape, and create 5.5 mm deep wells into the multi-unit abutment marks in the bite registration. An easy way to do this is using a Comet H77E.104.060 burr, which is 6 mm diameter and 11 mm cutting length. Embed the burr half its cutting length in the multi-unit abutments mark. Step 9. Using the ultra-low torque driver, place the pre-coated tie bases onto the multi-unit abutments. The ultra-low torque driver prevents unintentional separation of the head of the separable fastener from the threads of the separable fastener. It's good technique to feel with your fingers that the tie bases are secured sufficiently to the abutments before picking them up in the denture. Step 10. Seat the colored silicone dam over the tie bases. When done properly, there will be no or minimal bunching of the dam. Step 11. Secure the silicone dam with dam donuts from Dammit.Dental. These silicone O-rings help stabilize the silicone dam as well as block out the undercuts of the multi-unit abutments. Step 12. Prime the intaglio surface of the Avident denture base by painting monomer to the intaglio of the denture base. Mix the powder and liquid with a 2 to 1 ratio and backfill into a monoject syringe. Step 13. Inject the mixed acrylic pickup material into the denture and overfill while the material is more liquid. Step 14. Inject a small amount of acrylic around the tie bases. Step 15. Seat the denture over the tie bases and guide the patient into proper occlusion. Step 16. Maintain the teeth together while the material sets up. During the setting phase, be sure to irrigate occasionally to control the exothermic reaction of the pickup material. Step 17. Using the back end of a cotton forceps, or a periosteal elevator, pry the denture free from the multi-unit abutments. It may be necessary to loosen from the multi-unit abutments at various points around the denture. Step 18. Push down on the press-on caps, to the threaded fragment of the separable fastener that remained in the multi-unit abutments. Suture the surgical flaps to the press-on caps. The cap will keep the tissue off the multi-unit abutments while the lab work is being completed. Step 19. Remove the dam donuts from the denture intaglio. Step 20. Remove the denture flanges and rough cut the fixed complete denture contours. The ideal is to establish convex contours for optimal home hygiene. Step 21. 
Cut the distal heels quickly with a wheel or carbide number H219.104.023 from Comet. Step 22. Place protective plugs to cover the mating surface of the tie base. These plugs simply push into place. Step 23. Clean around the tie bases with a narrow carbide or number 8 round burr. If necessary, salt and pepper with acrylic to fill any voids. Step 24. Add acrylic to the intaglio as necessary to eliminate concavities and optimize contours for home hygiene. Step 25. Polish intaglio denture to at least a coarse finish. Apply Optiglaze by GC America to all surfaces of the denture. Light cure in a curing unit for 2 minutes. Step 26. Create screw channels for the fixed prosthesis in 3 steps. The first step uses a pilot drill through the intaglio of the tie base. To minimize the generation of heat, use a pumping action to clear the drill flutes of debris. Step 27. This initial hole establishes the trajectory of the final screw channel. Be sure to drill in a straight line access to the tie base. Step 28. The second step of the screw channel creation uses a step drill to follow the pilot hole from the occlusal down to bottom out on the top of the tie base. Be sure not to redirect the angulation of the screw channel by using your pointer finger of your non-dominant hand positioned on the tie base to push the denture onto the rotating drill. Step 29. The last step of the creation of the screw channel uses a third drill in a hand instrument, it's called a pin vise. Rotate the drill by hand in a clockwise direction, until you've created a straight line access to the tie base, and hole clear of debris to allow the peak head of the separable fastener to come out. Sometimes it comes out with the drill, other times you can easily push it out with the pilot drill from the intaglio to the cameo surface. Step 30. Unscrew the press-on caps with the ultra-low torque driver. This process will remove the threaded posts as well. Step 31. Use your implant manufacturer's implant screwdriver to deliver the completed prosthesis to the multi-unit abutments. The Unigrip screw head is our default screw. Torque the prosthetic screw to 15 newton centimeters. Step 32. Place an amount of PTFE tape from 35 newtons. The ideal amount leaves 2 millimeters of space for a light cured composite or temporary material such as Fermit from Henry Schein or Patterson. Step 33. Check the patient's occlusion and adjust as necessary. When done properly, there should be little to no occlusal adjustment needed. Smart denture conversions preserves the strength of the avident denture better than conventional means by limiting the amount of destruction to the denture required to pick up implant components. Preserving the strength results in greatly reduced fracture rates, saving you even more chair time to be more productive.